everyone and welcome to The Wandering Village given to me by Stray Fawn Studios. Thank you so so much for allowing me to play this game. I've been wanting to play it for a while. It's been on my wish list for a while. And to those of you who don't know what this game is, let's find out together. We'll start with Novice because as with every game you should really learn the ropes first before playing any game. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. Ah. But not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Ooh. Hello. Oh, it's kind of cute. Hi. Hi there. Oh, it's so cute. The Wandering Village. Build storages so your workers have a place to... Okay, that was kind of rude. <clears throat> Welcome. Hello, friend. I am the village elder and in charge of good people here. Our people, the Neomans, have travelled far and endured many hardships through the years. But now we have come across an Onbu, an ancient beast believed to have gone extinct centuries ago. Our encounter must have been fated. It has most likely been asleep in the ground for a very long time. Maybe they woke up because the toxins keep seeping further and further into the earth. The poor thing seems exhausted and has gone back to sleep for now. I once read that Onbu draw their nutrients from the ground, so I wonder if it can sustain itself out here. Seems like we need to take care of each other from now on. My experience has brought our people here, but now it's time for you to take over and lead them to a better place. To ease the transition, I could teach you a little of what I've learned. Due to you even, a tutorial, so to say. What do you think? Have I got any choice? Okay, so the tutorial boxes end up here. And we need to open the Elder's Notebook, which is here. Okay, so this gives you like... Okay, so it gives you like basic information about pretty much everything. That's really good. Well done, devs. Pretty much everything. Okay. But we don't want to go through all that. Alright, so move the camera. WASD is my preferred choice. Or you can use the directional key keys on your keyboard, but I prefer WASD. Um, okay, so we can pause and we can speed up. Okay. Uh, you can also use space to pause the game and 1, 2, 3 to do... Um, I don't know what I prefer. Space or pressing the button. Well done. Now set the speed back to 1. Oops, sorry. Okay, zoom in and out by scrolling or with the... Alright, so Ombu... Okay, so I'm using a mouse wheel here. Oh, it's so cute. I think it's really cute. And world view. Okay, so this is our world. Oh, it's a bit finicky, my mouse wheel today. Why is my mouse wheel be doing this? Okay, construct at least six tents. Okay. So, tents. And you can hold shift, so you don't need to keep pressing. So, if I do it without shift, just like that. And if I do it like this, hey, that's a lot easier. And I just spotted something about roads, so we're going to build some roads, even if um, our guy here hasn't said anything. Because if I've played any game, roads make people move faster. Yeah, just as I said, moves faster. Those are nice little tents, though. Okay, what's next? What's next? Some of your villagers are still homeless. To build more tents, you need to gather wood. Okay. How do I do this? Okay, so... Ah, okay, fair enough. Let's get rid of these. Also, something I've been told about this game is that the land that you see is randomly generated, so it can actually come out in different styles. So you can have, like, a big brown patch here. You can have, like, almost completely green. Yeah. And the resources are laid out differently as well. Are you guys just going to stand and stare at me? Oh, whoops. Hang on. I haven't. Sorry. My bad. My complete bad. <laughs> They're just staring at me like, what do you want us to do? I'm like, oh, I forgot to tell you to do these things. I am a bad leader. Okay, so you've got 10 wood now. Or at least 10 wood. What have we got? We have 14 logs. 30 stone and 100 water and 94. Is that berries or food? Berries, okay. Done, you got one more to build, my loves. One more. 
There we go. See, you've all got somewhere to live now. Aren't you happy about it? Place a berry gatherer found in the food category. Ah, here we go. And we need it with berries. Oh, here we go. And like last time, I am going to... No, I'm not pressing the right button. There we go. I'm going to put some roads down. Prioritise any task. Okay, let's prioritise this as max because it's food and people need food. Construct a farm. Okay. Needs to be on grass soil. That makes sense, actually. Grass soil. Okay, where are we? There we go. Next to some trees for some shade, I think. Am I making sense, developers? I'm sorry, devs, if you see this and you're thinking, why did we allow this person to try out our game? Why did we allow her to review this game? Speaking of reviews, um, I've played a lot of city builder games. I've done Age of Empires. I've done Knights and Castle, I believe it was called. I've done... Uh... You know what, now that I'm naming them, I can't remember all that I've done. I've done a lot of them. I just haven't reviewed all of them as a video. And they all have different styles. I think one of my favourites um, in the past was black and white. Because you have that whole godlike element. And that's one of the things I really am finding myself liking about this. That you have a populace that rely on you as their god and telling them what to do. And basically leading them. And Onbu is still asleep. I wonder how long Onbu sleeps for. That's what I've wanted to know for a while. Like, I have read a bit about this game and I have looked into it a little bit. Um, and I, the, the fun thing is about the game, I have run out of resources. Hang on. Do you need, is it just, is it just wood you need or is it stone as well? No, you just need wood. Um, the thing about this is um, I actually reached out to the developer on Twitter because they were offering to give away keys if you knew a content creator and I messaged them and I said I would be more than happy to do a review for you guys because this game has been on my wishlist for ages and I've wanted to play it for ages. So yeah, thank you developers for allowing me to do so. Um, they also uh, provided me with a giveaway key, which has been given away already, and has gone to um, FPS Liget. So congratulations, dude. You won the key. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the game as much as I'm enjoying it. Now, not all the features have been included in the game as far as I'm aware. Um, they are thinking of adding achievements at some point, which is what I love most about games, because I like to get things. So... We'll see how the roadmap goes along, which I will actually have a look at later on. Okay, we're going to speed this up a bit because they're taking forever. Guys, why you be so slow? Yeah, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on. The berry thing was prioritised and the farm wasn't. Why is it? I, I don't understand. Okay. All right, let's just build some... Um, I'm very... Yeah, let, there you go. There's some plots. There you go. Set the amount of workers in your farm to at least three. So we just need one more. There we go. Construct at least two air wells. Okay, air wells collect water, which is brilliant. Imagine trying to live without water. It's not going to happen. You're literally going to die if you don't have water in your life. I actually have um, my best friend. She doesn't like the taste of water at all. So she's an interesting creature. Alright, so we need wood and stone. Right, so. Here's some stone, I believe. Is that a mushroom? That's a mushroom. Okay. And here's some wood. And we're going to speed this up because this is going to take a while otherwise. I like the sound of the stone collecting. I'm not entirely sure why. It sounds very, um, pretty. Like t twinkling bells. Oh, hello. Hang on. Oh, hello, Onbu. Hi, you're awake. Oh, and we're we're going forward. Wow. 
Hold on, let me put... Look at him. Look at that majestic beast. Oh. You can tell how big and heavy the guy is just by the way the footprints sound. And if you listen carefully, it echoes slightly as well. That's brilliant. I like you, Umbu. I like you a lot. Okay, back to the drawing board. What were we doing? We were going to construct two air wells. How do we need more? Okay, let's speed up. Speeding up is a thing. You can just... It's so weird. Look, look, look. If you do this, you can see the land moving in the background. And of course, it's not going to be smooth because Onbu's um, footsteps. I really like how they've done it. Come on, build the air wells. Come on. Oh, that's one. That's two. Yay. Alright, so now we need to construct a water tank. Pantry and material storage. I nearly said medicinal. We haven't got to medicinal, have we? Alright, so water tank. We'll put that here. A pantry we'll put here. And a material storage we'll put here. And I'm trying to keep things as centred as possible. But it's not working out how I want it to. Okay. And as you can tell, gathering materials is pretty much what you're going to be doing throughout the entire game just I'm nervous to queue too much in case something happens there's mushrooms on the floor oh there are mushrooms outside huh. yes build build my little minions I, I, I mean, precious little things. If anyone got the reference just then, I applaud you. Maybe I should have made the paths bigger. Maybe I should have done them like this. Ah, it's fine, it's fine. And build away they must. What are you confused about? What are you guys confused about? You, ha you have no time to be confused. We are building an empire upon the back of a beast called Onbu, who is amazing. You know, listening to Onbu moving, it's like listening to a heartbeat, and that's brilliant. Speaking of, you can actually see his heartbeat up here. Three beats per minute. I think that's correct, three beats per minute. And it also tells you the time and what day you're on. Oh, have we? We've run out of stone. Oh, whoops, my bad. These scary looking things. Oh, reduces Ombu's trust. We don't want to do that. I think what we want is we want a happy Ombu who doesn't mind us living on his back as his passengers? Question mark? His parasites, maybe? Question mark? I don't know. Either way, is Ombu like a, a a tortoise, turtle, whatever it is? Makes me wonder. Okay, build a research building and select kitchen as research. Where's the? Oh, it's under the village. No. Oh, my blind self couldn't see that for a moment. Okay, so this needs wood and stone as well. Wood. Do we have any more stone? Oh, we do. I am scared to hit those things because I don't want to hurt Ombu. <laughs> I don't want to hurt Ombu. But yeah, we've got like how the temperature is, what humidity we have, and if there is any poison, apparently. That's concerning. But let's speed up again. Why, oh why, does building take forever? I wish you guys had roller skates so you could just zoom over his back. Okay, so we have the kitchen, which the tutorial is telling us to do, which makes berries, beets, and onbu blood ew, into processed food. And we have a horn blower used to issue commands to onbu, which it may or may not follow. Allows you to click on crossroads on the world map to decide which way to go. Okay, so onbu's a teenager. Okay, fair enough. This is where I lose half my fan base, isn't it? Oops.
Okay, and we need to construct a worker post and employ at least two workers. Okay. We'll put that down here. Because what we can do is we can have a centre bit that's a little thicker than the rest. And we'll speed up again. There we go. At least we had enough materials for that. Oh, hang on. What's this flashing for? Oh! You encountered a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join your village? Yeah, the more the merrier. Hop on. Hop on. But our curiosity, if they were down there, which you just saw, looking like they got crushed underfoot, how did they actually get to the top? As, I'm really curious now. How, did they just, like, climb and hope not to fall as they climb up? I'm very, I'm very um, curious about that now. Okay, employ at least two workers. But it has two workers? Or do you mean two extra workers? Oh, as carriers, hang on. Oops, my bad. There we go, as carriers. There we go. Employ at least three workers as general workers in your outpost. Okay, so it's telling me how to change worker management, I think? I suppose that makes sense. Also, this tells you loads of details and we've run out of houses. We've got 19, so let's just build two more houses. Okay. More advanced buildings require more advanced materials to build, like a carpenter and a stone cutter. Where am I? Here we go. You know, I should really, before I do anything, I should really read stuff, shouldn't I? There we go. So let's have a look at the world map. Whoop. Sorry, Ombu. So we have a crossroads coming up. And we have different places where we can't visit right now. So ruined settlements, quarries, forests. Is there anything else? No, that looks like the only types available to us right now. And of course the crossroads. But we need a horn blower, and we've been told to build the kitchen first, so no horn blower for us. Um, look at them build. Anyway, guys, as much as I'd love to explore this game more with you, I am unfortunately all out of time. Thank you so, so much, Stray Fawn Studios, for allowing me to play this game. You have no idea how long I've yearned to play this game because it just looks amazing. And I love the whole adding on boo into a city builder game. I know that the species is called on boo, so we're just gonna keep his name as on boo because I cannot think of any names to give him. Unless I start calling him Grogu, in which case I'm going to get extremely attached. And if anything happens, I'm going to get upset. Anyway, guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my coffee is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now.